Hey Jim, Chris Westfall here. I wanted to shoot a real quick video for you because I can talk faster than I can type. And answer your question, your concerns were about final expense and some of the frustrations with it. And it brought me back to my original decision to focus more on med subs than final expense. And it was a difficult one because the upfront money with final expense is no doubt higher. However, it was during my best week that I can remember. It was a $5,000 week working part-time doing final expense that I'd been into a house, it was a trailer home, and as soon as I walked in, first it was hotter than Hades in there, there was no air conditioning, and the roof was sagged in when I went in there. And the man had no money to pay his power bill, he had no power. And that was the kind of demographics that you're used to going into, of course, with final expense insurance. So I took a picture of that with my Blackberry back then, sent it to my wife and said, never again and that was my best week ever that week I'd made more money than ever but I decided to shift my focus to Medicare because what I realized was if I continued to do the same things I was doing I was always gonna have to continue doing the same things I was doing at the time which was I was building no residual income whatsoever and I was just on the rat wheel having to keep that thing moving every single week so yes you can improve you can improve your closing ratio you can mail more leads but what that does is it puts you in front of more people making more sales and then next week if you got hit by a Mack truck or uh, you got some kind of weird debilitating disease or you had you know something strange happen and you can no longer go in the field and prospect work those leads and make those sales happen you're done your income stops the very week that you stop making sales. However, conversely, on the Medicare side, if you stop doing your business altogether, or you do like we do, you disappear for a month and you go to an island somewhere with your family in the summertime, or you take off on a long trip to explore some far new land, guess what? Your income continues. There's no slowdown in it whatsoever. Now, if you want to continue to, to build your income, you need to continue, of course, to help more and more people. But if you don't, whenever it is that you stop, that's your level playing field for Medicare supplement, especially if you're not even prospecting anymore. You're still going to get referrals from people who you've helped in the past. They know somebody turning 65. They know somebody frustrated with their old plan, and they need your help, and now your phone rings. So the total different paradigm for me was... Do I want to continue doing this frustration of final expense, which, yes, it's good money up front, but it's very labor-intensive? Or do you want to continue to work just as hard but helping people on their Medicare plans, earning less today, no doubt, but with a focus on the future? And then after one year's over of hard-working Medicare supplements, now you're starting to double your income in year two because, again, you're earning the residual from year one, while you're earning what you're going to earn in year two and then it starts to get better and better and better and easier as those referrals start to come in but with a focus on the Medicare market it's just much more stable the persistency is much much higher people are very thankful for you bringing to light the fact that you can save them money on the same plan with a different company and they're like really I, I didn't think I could do that I didn't think I could switch and that's a great feeling because now you're not selling somebody you're not introducing a new product that they're not familiar with, like life insurance, if they've never had it for 60 years. You know, suddenly they want you to fix all their financial problems in the five minutes that you're there. Whereas with the Medicare plans, they've already got one. They're just paying too much for it. And when you're the hero, by able to find, you're being able to find a better rate for what they already enjoy. They already like that plan. They just can't afford it anymore. So now you're suddenly the hero. And rather than pulling and scratching and trying to convince them that they need to provide for their family on life insurance, it's not that frustration anymore. It's simply, hey, you're paying $200 a month, and, you know, Philadelphia American over here has that same plan for $120 a month. So I can save you $80 a month, and we're done. You know, I saved you money, and now I'm out of here. It's a, just a much different positioning uh, for your business than trying to pull all the time. Now you're able to hand out money back to seniors and the residual aspect of it is what led me that and going into the you know the roof caved in roach cockroach filled um, heated home in the middle of the summertime that focus on that 
lower end demographic um, compelled me to move probably a little bit prematurely but into a full-time focus on Medicare even though I knew it was going to struggle a little bit because the income is just not as much with the Medicare starting off but I also knew that I could not continue to burn gas and back then gosh gas was two dollars a gallon we thought it was incredible you know crazy now it's about four dollars a gallon and making that move then was the best thing that changed my life going forward so a little struggle now for the residual income aspect of it later so you can work hard now take it easy later or you could take it easy now and continue to work hard later but I, but I think anybody that's working full-time final expense and making any success at it is having some modicum of success but what does that success mean it means that you better get out of bed and go do that same thing next week or guess what your income flatlines or you can start to put that energy either half time or full time and just the just the release of the frustration of having to convince somebody to buy something was in my world just a it was a huge relief you know we're starting to work then with the demographics that are the upper 50 percent of income rather than the lowest 10 percent with final expense it's just a much easier way to go and and my cousin Michael who just retired from the Marine Corps flying helicopters um, he said something to me the other day that kind of stuck with me you know when you're flying out in a storm he said flying his helicopter you'd have to take off and go into the rain into the bad storm but after you'd hit just above that shelf of the clouds you know all the rain then is below you and it's smooth skies up above like 10,000 feet so if you're down here in the struggle of final expense and you're working in the rain if you go I'm just talking demographics wise here nothing else but if you're going from the projects to the penthouses and those are the people that you're dealing with going forward the air is much smoother and there's not as much rain clouds and the people don't cancel their plans and they're very articulate they're very nice they understand and appreciate good service it's dealing in a whole different realm of the population um, you know when I was in law enforcement most of what we dealt with was the lower third of people because those are the scoff laws that break the law and steal and rob and all that kind of stuff and then moving into the insurance world with the upper echelon of of seniors who have the means to pay for their own health care and their own other policies and plans too that they want is just a much smoother ride so I encourage you at at the point that feels comfortable for you to do so to make the transition from focusing on final expense which is today money and then moving as fast as you can to the uncomfortable you know Jim Rohn says that your breakthrough is in wherever it's uncomfortable for you focus on that because that's your breakthrough and yes it is uncomfortable to make a complete product shift into that other market to say nothing of the fact that your income will probably go down as you work the same amount of hours but that's only temporary and if you can see the long-term effect of that that is a gradually increasing residual income every single month and that will last you over and over and over again and then of course I want you to continue to um, work with me and then do it over the phone so you don't have to leave the house at all and you could work it in you know whatever state you want Arkansas Oklahoma uh, Missouri all those states that are around you there they're all great states to work in and seniors need our help they're on a fixed income most of them uh, or with some retirement doesn't matter they need our help to save money <clears throat> to maximize what they've got left so that's our role and it's very rewarding in doing that so sorry about the the weird background here this morning I just wanted to get that out to you I want to encourage you to stay in the fight uh, you are a successful agent right now no doubt about it uh, but if you change your focus just consider my opinion change your focus from uh, one shot deal to a focus on residual income and you will thank me a few years from now big time when we get together face to face so anyway thanks for sending that message last night and I hope this encourages you there is a better way than the frustration of trudging through day by day talk to you soon bye bye